Hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maida, and you're watching Maida Pores. Thank you so much for joining me today. If it's your first time here, you are very welcome. And if you're a returning viewer, well, welcome back, friend. It's so good to see you again. So, thank you for coming to another very special uh, Pouring Coast to Coast collab. I'm right smack dab in the middle today, so if you're coming here from on the premiere day and following the train, so happy to have you here. If you are not here on premiere day, be sure to check out the playlist that I have down in my description and check out the amazing paintings that all the other artists in this collab have been doing. Um, so I'm gonna bring it down. Let's get down here. So I am working with the exact same palette as everybody else today. So let's just go over it really quick. I do have, first time appearing on my channel, some Three Little Piggies. This is the ball gown, um, Three Little Piggies. It's an iridescent, interference gold, um, and I've never used it before, so this is gonna be very interesting. Thank you to Tara Lombardi, whose video taught me how to mix that, so. <laughs> um, and next up, I do have fluorescent pink here for the hot pink. Deep yellow, um, I'm actually glad I looked this color up because I realized it's kind of like an orangey color. So this this paint here is like 90% primary yellow with like a drop of primary red to make it a deep yellow, okay? And then lime green. And last but not least, dioxazine purple. As you can see, I am using, with the exception of the TLP, uh, I'm using all Liquitex paints today. My tried and true old school, how I got started painting, Liquitex. <laughs> so now let's jump over and let's get, let's get to painting. Okay, so what is my idea for this pour? Well, I have a, 12 by 24 inch canvas here. This is a level one academic level. So it's not a level three, but it's not a value pack either. I actually like these academic canvases. They're nice, especially when you're kind of doing a little bit of a, maybe an experiment or a pour that you're not sure it's gonna turn out because the price point isn't so high, but they're still very solid, good canvases. Um, okay, so my idea for this pour is multiple rings down the canvas. So first step is gonna be pouring my cups and getting my cups ready. Now, I am not going to put every single color in every single cup. We're gonna go ahead and speed this up and you can enjoy me pouring my cups here. which has gotten a little bit of paint on it, that's okay. I'm gonna start with my first cup here, which is my hot pink, deep yellow, and interference gold. And I am gonna pour one, two, three, four. So. I'm trying to do good ring pours, but I'm gonna be honest guys, I kinda of suck at ring pours, so they're mostly just like jiggly pours. Yeah, we're just gonna make this a jiggly pour. Uh, we'll try it better. We'll try to ring it out. I'm really, uh, ring pours are, should I, should I do a bunch of ring pours so I can practice my ring pours, guys? Probably, huh? Okay. That is a fun, it's definitely hot pink. I see the deep yellow, I see the interference gold, I think. We'll see how what happens there. Um, next 
one is my deep yellow and lime green cup. And we're gonna do this one right next to it. Again, I'm trying to do ring pours. These are probably more of a jiggly pour than a ring pour. But they're fun either way. I used to really uh, worry about my ring pours not being good and maybe they're not good, but they're still fun and jiggly pours are just as much fun as ring pours. This is a very green, 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 green. And that's that. Next up is my green and purple. This is gonna be an interesting cup. <laughs> Again, just, we're gonna jiggle this one. Uh, jiggling is, jiggling's actually, I like the jiggle. I think this is not gonna be very dark. This is my dark cup. The green is in there, but purple definitely took over that green. Oh, I guess on that one side, there's a lot of green. Okay. Interesting. And last but not least, my pink and purple cup. Again, I'm starting it like really close so it doesn't fall off the edge and it does sort of like, they smush into each other, so. Another jiggly cup. The jiggles give it more spice, in my opinion. A little spicy. <laughs> Doing more of a ring there. Okay. Those are my four rings, and now we're gonna wreck them. We're gonna wreck these rings. Yes, let's wreck the rings. What am I gonna wreck them with? I think just, uh, this is just a popsicle. Uh, this, is not, this is not a popsicle stick. This is just a really janky uh, paintbrush that should probably be thrown away, except I like using this end of it. <laughs> so I am gonna wreck these. I've done a wrecked ring pour. Well, I don't think I've ever done a wrecked ring pour on my channel, actually. I feel like I used to do them, you know, when I first started painting, they were definitely something that I tried. I actually really like that, that's really cool. Okay, and maybe just one. And by one, I mean two. Alrighty, and now I do have some flow extender. This is just dioxazine purple, uh, mixed up a little bit thinner than these paints actually, so it flows. And I'm just gonna pour this around to help, just to help it flow. Unfortunately, I ran out of gloves, and so we're gonna get some, we're gonna be messy here. But now it's time to tilt, okay. Not the, I, I think like the actual, um, I probably should have used more colors in each cup to give it a little bit more, so to speak. The only one that really has the contrast here is this pink and purple, but the green and purple also did too. But there's definitely not enough contrast in these two, but that's okay. 
This was an experiment, guys. When I use colors I wouldn't normally use, I consider it just, you know, let's play. Let's see, you know, what we can do. I'm gonna be honest, lime green and dioxazine purple are usually not colors I put together. <laughs> or orange and lime green, but, but we tried it. <laughs> okay, hmm, that's kinda cool. So I'm gonna do something I haven't done in a long time, but I've definitely done a few times here on my channel. And I'm gonna do a flick. I'm gonna mess with this just for kinda the sake of, what do you call it? Composition. I wanna pull that down a little bit. And I'm going to, how I do a silicone flick. So I don't use silicone very often in my paintings, um, but when I do, I'd like to flick it. <laughs> So I take a little silicone, I put it right just on a popsicle stick, maybe tap a little bit off because I, I just like a couple of drops of silicone on the stick. And then I, can you see me? I flick it. And then I flick it. And then I do one more when you really should stop it to flick it. Okay. I'm going to play a little bit more because that's what I do. I play. Okay. So this is sort of like a, this is not, what is this? I think it actually came with like as an icing spatula or an icing with a cake, with my cake spinner. I'm just gonna take it and I'm gonna kind of pull these into each other just a little bit. for a close-up. Now, so this is completely different than anything I've ever, 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 ever done before. Um, this color palette showed me some things. For example, I love the way dioxazine purple and lime green look together. Look how cool this section is. I love it. This is so fun. So dioxazine purple, lime green, great combination, never would have thought it. So now lime green and deep yellow, there's some very interesting things going on in here, but it, from far away, it does look like a bit of a smush and I'm not so sure about combining those colors together. <laughs> I don't know if I'd do it again. I feel like I see some of that iridescent gold peeking out through here. It'll be interesting to see how this dries. And then the orange, or I'm sorry, the deep yellow and the hot pink, I actually combine together. I feel like it just, it's hard to see. They're not contrasting enough, but they're very cool. And here you can see like, it's subtle, but it's really, really neat effects in there. So this is one of those you have to kind of get up close to really see what's going on. Now, unfortunately, I'm sorry guys, I don't think I'm going to be able to have time to show you the dried results of this one just because of time constraints on editing and when this has to go up, but I will show you um, in my next video. And my predictions are, of course I use silicone, so I would need to wash it off before I varnish it. But the silicone brand I use and the amount, I only use like a couple of drops, it's not as greasy as um, using this technique. It doesn't dry as greasy as other methods of using silicone I have found. So I will show you that in the next video. For now, please stay tuned and jump over to Garrick. He's next up in the line. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.